race days are weird for me because of nerves. I really try to eat very, very simple. I stick to basically tortillas, peanut butter, banana. <laughs> What's up everybody, John here with Motivation Theory Running and today I'm here to give you an update, kind of a year to date update, a month update and kind of talk a little bit about my training. As you all know, I have a race in four weeks. It's a 12 hour trail race, interloopal race. Uh, and what I've talked about is incorporating back to back long runs over the next couple of weeks. I had a long run this past Sunday. I got my laptop out so I can easily access the data that I'm talking about. So this past Sunday, the 16th, I ran a 20 miler. Uh, went well, went well. Did not have any issues after running that. I ran, I think 11 miles up until today. And today I ran a 21 mile long run. It's the first long run in a series of two back to back long runs I'm doing uh, this week. So tomorrow I think I'm going to have probably a 10 to 12 miles. Um, so far this year for 2020, let me go ahead and pull up the year. Strava here. So, so far uh, Strava has me down for 814 miles. I do have more than that. Uh, the watch I had previously in January wasn't recording some. So I think it probably has maybe 50 miles or so more than that, but I'm not gonna be worried about it. So I have 814 miles so far this year. I've had, uh, I've built up incrementally over the year. So I've had a lot of people probably wondering kind of what my has my training been like this year for me to attempt a 12 hour race. And I'd like to say this right up front, I'm not going into the 12 hour race exactly where I wanna be. I'm gonna be under trained, uh, under trained where I think I should be. I have been running for the last eight months. I have put in 814 miles. Uh, the only thing I probably would do differently up until this point is that I would have had a lot more longer type runs over this period of time, but uh, I've purposely done this in the way that I've done it now because I've been building my base back up. And it's not beneficial for me months ago to be running 20, 25 mile long runs or even a 30 mile long run at that point because I don't feel that I was comfortable with my base. I'm doing this to stay healthy for the long run, not just cram it in before a race. So my mileage might seem lighter than it should be. And it, it, it may be, um, we're all different. I know what I can get away with. I can get away with 30 to 40 miles a week uh, after I have my base built and still run ultra marathons. Like I said, I'm not gonna be winning them, but I can maintain uh, a, a decent pace and finish them. All right, so let's jump into this, the stats here. So. January, I think I had closer to probably 80 miles. Uh, February, I had 88. Uh, March, 110. See, I'm building it up. April, 120. May, 155. June, 166. And then I got crazy busy with life and it took a light month. I only had 48 in July. And then I've started to build back up in August. I've already had uh, 11 runs in August. Uh, so right now I'm in the I guess would be technically the fourth week of August, uh, if you don't count that the first this, this week that we're here. Um, so I've run some longer runs. I did run a lot of uh, 10 milers and 11 milers, 12 milers and things like that. Those are mixed in. So I consider that a long run. I spend a lot of time on my feet. I do a lot of hour and a half long runs, two hour runs. So to say that I haven't done a lot of long runs isn't really fair or accurate, but I have been able to get those in, that that distance. So uh, the run I had in today uh, was nice. It started off uh, very cloudy, super humid, 93% humidity in the mid 70s. Uh, so it was actually kind of pleasant to start my run off. I probably went out a little bit harder than I wanted to. I'm really hoping to kind of keep things around 12 to 12 and a half minutes. In my long runs, I ran one that past Sunday and I felt like I still had a little bit in the tank uh, so I pushed a little bit harder today on my 21 miler and I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, the, the, the elevation profile, I had 1200 feet of, of elevation gain in this run. So that's decent. That's decent over 21 miles. Uh, so it wasn't just a flat circular course. I ran nine miles around basically a track uh, on my last Sunday. So I got away with a little bit of cheating there, I think, with not, with not having really any kind of elevation change there. But this one was a legit run out on the roads. Uh, it was rough. It was rough. It was definitely rough. It was nice and decently cool at the beginning. And the first 14 miles, that last seven, the sun came out and absolutely started kicking my butt. And you can see my, my pace start to slow down a little bit. 
Um, I so so I'm happy with all of that. I'm happy right now. Right now, I've already passed 100 miles for August. Uh, I really don't know what I'm going to end up with. Uh, it is it's going to be what it is. I'm probably going to be a little bit higher this month. I'm probably going to have one more week. It looks like. I don't know where I'm gonna. I'm probably going to beat my highest month this year just because of the type of training I'm having to do with the long runs leading into my race. So I'm planning on the next two weeks running back to back long runs, these these larger runs, and uh, then kind of dialing it back a little bit and kind of tapering, doing kind of a mini taper into the race. Uh, I'm happy with where I am. My legs today do, did feel a lot more tired than they did last Sunday, uh, which is to be expected. I ran on the roads and it probably. Uh, took a little bit more out of me uh, than I probably thought was going to happen. I pushed a little bit harder, probably harder than I should have. But all in all, I'm super happy with where I am. Uh, I've done a lot of assessing. I ran uh, last week. I ran uh, one lap of the course that I'm going to be racing on. I uh, did about an hour and 22 minutes trying to keep around the race pace that I would be taking. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably... a a, a good stretch goal would probably be getting to 50 miles. I, I just based on my fitness level and the terrain I'm going to be in 50 miles is probably going to be a stretch to get to just because of that. Uh, if I hit 45, I'm going to be happy. Now, if that was a JFK 50 course, I would be distraught, <laughs> but you know, you have to take all things into consideration. Uh, you want to be safe and smart about what you're shooting for. So I, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to set a couple different goals. I mean, I'm, going to be really happy if I hit 50 miles, uh, 45, I'll be a little disappointed, but it won't be, it, it'll be a good day. Anyways. Um, another thing I want to talk about, I get asked a lot about how I fuel on these runs, how I feel before and after. Um, I eat a lot of peanut butter. So a lot of things I do is I'll take a tortilla, put peanut butter in it, chop a banana. I'll roll that up. I keep things simple when I uh, have races. I don't try to eat these elaborate meals beforehand. I've learned when I was marathon running a lot, I just, I just can't handle a lot of things in my stomach. So I will get up, have my coffee. I will probably get in about 500 calories in, in the form of the peanut butter, banana, tortilla roll up. They're easy to consume. I'll get that down. I'll probably drink half a Gatorade and some water, top off my waters, and then I'll go out on the run. Um, I don't eat a ton on the run. I need to learn to fuel more, especially if I'm running a 50 miler, I will fuel more. Today, I ate the tortilla with peanut butter and the banana did my run. I checked back in, uh, the first seven miles, I ate about a half a bag of the small snack size bag, uh, the baked lates, just get some sodium in, uh, they, that was good. Uh, I ate, that was it. No. So I ate, I drank a Gatorade and bottled water when I got in and got back out there. And when I came back in sec time, I ate the rest of the bag of Lay's and a banana. And then that was it. That was it for the, the run. And then after the race, uh, what did I have? I didn't have a whole lot of food. Um, I think I ate some more peanut butter, some peanuts. I was just trying to get protein in. I didn't eat a ton. Uh, for dinner, I ate steak and uh, steak fries and salad. That's what I had for dinner. That was my post run. So the long-term goals for this year, what I have coming up is I have the ATR 12-hour uh, race. I have the Marine Corps Marathon. I think I'm doing a 50K. It's a virtual now because they canceled the, the live race. I have that coming up, possibly the JFK 50. And that will probably be the end of the year for me that, for the racing. And then I'm going to be training very hard for the uh, ATR 24 hour race. That's really my long-term goal, what I'm really shooting for. And there's something I want to address with, with my training. So I have a tendency to train on the slower side. It's purposeful. Uh, I don't run really fast anymore on purpose and training. Now you, you know that I do a lot of the math training, low heart rate training, even more so this year because I took off a year and a half, two years uh, from running consistently. I wanted to take my time this year and build my base. Uh, and I'm doing that as smart as I can possibly do it because I don't want to get injured. The, the whole thing is I want to run for the rest of my life. I am building my base this year. I'm not worried about speed. Now, I will do some speed workouts to kind of increase my speed, but I'm not really concerned with speed this year. I'm concerned with getting my base back next year. I'm going to be continue to build that base, but I'm going to be working a lot more on speed, improving my 50 mile time, improving my uh, marathon time, improving my 50K time. That's really what I'm going to be doing for next year. I'm just trying to be smart. I'm not trying to push too hard. Um, when it comes to speed, 
when I was running all the time, I was a, you know, a 22 minute 5k, 44 minute 10k, uh, an hour 44 half marathoners. I've never been a speed demon. And, uh, I think a 407 marathoner, I was getting to the point trending faster when I took a break from running. Um, but I don't care as much about being fast anymore as I care about just completing runs and, and being healthy. Uh, I want to keep running. I don't want to get nicked up. I don't want to be laid off, uh, not being able to run. So that's really where I'm focused in. It's base building and staying healthy. Next year, I'm going to push a little harder and we'll see where things go. We'll see where things go. I do have some goals long term, like I want to beat uh, 10 hours at JFK 50. I want to go back to Belmonte. Uh, my first, uh, it's a 52.7 mile or double marathon and I'd like to try that again. I did that and finished it, but I'd like to do improve on my time than the first time that that was my first ultra. So I want to try to improve that. So there's a lot, lot going on. Um, if you have questions, if you're new to running or if you're wanting to transition to ultra marathons, please feel free to comment below, ask me questions. I'll answer all of them. You know, if you follow me on Strava, I'm very transparent with my training, I'm purposeful in it. Um, I'm sure some people probably wonder how I do what I do with the low mileage and it's, it's all relative. I mean, I've had some 40, 50 mile weeks for a while. I mean, it's not like I haven't been running, but um, I think after building my base this year, next year, I'm really going to concentrate on focusing on a, on a real plan. It's just not conducive this year. If you have questions, leave them below. Uh, if you want to run an ultra marathon, you can absolutely do it. It's not an impossible task. I believe in you and I will do anything I can do to answer questions to help you along the way, especially nutrition stuff. I'll go into a little more detail on what I eat during my normal life, during training. Um, race days are weird for me because of nerves. I really try to eat very, very simple. I stick to basically tortillas, peanut butter, bananas, uh, cliff bars, things that are just very simple. Uh, that's where my nutrition stays, just because of my stomach. Uh, but all right, I'm gonna leave you with some more of the training videos. So you can go ahead and click those right now and continue to follow along with me. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.